Wangari Mathaya, a Kenyan woman born in Nigeria, a rural community in Kenya in 1940, who also grew up in a rural area called Kikuyu, also in Kenya, is the founder of the Green Belt Movement. My parents raised me in an environment that did not give reasons for fear or uncertainty. Instead, there were many reasons to dream, be creative, and to use my imagination, as always said by Makaya. A village girl who was catered for by some poor couple in Kenya, with hard working, perseverance, determination, and persistence, became the first woman in East and Central Africa to earn a doctorate degree and also the first African woman ever to win the Nobel Peace Prize. Mathaya was not directly a feminist activist, but an environmental activist who inspired other women in Kenya and all over the world to go into politics and activism. After Kenya gained independence in 1963, women were still oppressed and not given many opportunities like education, and political roles. Many women throughout Kenya were struggling with getting access to natural resources like wood and water and there was no form of legal protection or say when it came to politics for women in Kenya. Mathaya having gone through a lot, having learnt a lot and having seen a lot Knowing vividly what she wanted to change in her country and all over the world, started a community-based tree planting, where she mobilized the women in her community to plant trees each and every day to restore their source of freedom. <laughs> She continued to develop this idea into a broad-based grassroots organization called the Green Belt Movement, whose main focus was poverty reduction and environmental conservation through tree planting, and this got international attention and support. She used this platform to incorporate community empowerment and education programs, gender equality advocacy campaigns, and political activism into the Green Belt Movement. Mathaya is the second female to be given a political role in Kenya. The UN saw her democracy, peace, and sustainable development goals, and so awarded Mathaya and named her a UN Messenger of Peace. Mathaya was appointed to be a member of the World Millennium Development Goal Advocacy Group in 2010, and she founded the Noble Women's Initiative aside the Green Belt Movement. Mathaya has empowered many women and people all over the world through speeches on international platforms. Although Kenya still has a long way to go in hearing the plight of women, there is still a continuous improvement in financial, social and economic inclusion in the country. As of 2012, women constituted 62% of Kenya's labor force. Since Wagari Mathaya started the movement in 1977, over 51 million trees have been planted worldwide and over 30,000 women have been trained in forestry, food processing, beekeeping and other trades that help them earn income while preserving their lands and resources in Kenya and all over the world. Currently, tree planting and forest reservation to solve climate change issues 
has become a challenge to individuals and governments all over the world. Professor Mathaya is a woman who can never be left out when talking about activists, environmental conservationists, and women empowerment. Professor Mathaya died on September 25, 2011, leaving these legacies and impacts behind. I believe in sustainability, and I believe all the impacts and legacies she left behind are sustainable. You cannot get through a day without having an impact on the world around you. What you do makes a difference, and you have to decide what difference you want to make. The ultimate test of a man's conscience is his willingness to sacrifice something today for future generations whose words of thanks will not be heard. Have you identified a problem you want to change to help present and future generations? If no, identify one now. If yes, start the action now. And if you are already into it, never give up on yourself. Keep hitting it until that goal is attained. For time and tide waits for no man. I stand for change. And my name again is Nana Ifiachumethi, Miss Ghana 2020 contestant number 12.